Greetings, everyone. The ceremony will begin shortly. Hello again, commencement participants and guests. The ceremony will begin in just a few minutes. At this time, I'd like to draw your attention to the following video presentation. Unity to me means embracing the diversity that we find ourselves a part of. Unidos, right? Um, to me, unity is uh, being able to be a part of something bigger, bigger than, bigger than us, bigger than um, City College itself. Unity is a word that you don't do anything alone, um, that you have a group of people who are in for a greater purpose, and that purpose is to help um, our students. Unity has that root word of uni, which means one, but funny enough, it encompasses a deeper, broader, more complex thing or concept when it's everybody together, and then that's what makes you one. So unity is all about community. It's about coming together. To not only uh, tolerate, but to really embrace who we are, how we um, come together, how we work together, how we resolve differences, and how we make things happen, and how can we achieve goals, and how can we really serve our community, and how can we really work in a united way to make sure that we don't forget the things, and then forget the people, forget the marginalized populations that we're here to serve. Service is an action, and, and I think that if we think about what unity should mean, it's really kind of focusing on the service as, as that process and, and developing unity in that way. It's a way to showcase how you resemble or you can make a difference in someone. Um, and it's a way to also work with other people, right? Sometimes we have to be present and um, in different conversations while they may be hard, right? Um, but this is also one of the skills that we, that we want our students to have, that they can be present, they can sit at the table, right? They can make a difference in their, in their own lives by just sitting at the table, listening, and just sharing their, you know, their stories and their responses. It all comes from just a place of civility which is a place that I think our society is being pulled farther and farther from um, as we, you know, live in this highly divisive um, political era that we're in. Really, unity to me means being able to come to the table together and hash out our differences and lay out our priorities as um, wholly and really as possible and recognizing the priorities of whoever else is sitting across the table from us and trying to find a place to reconcile those two. To make sure that the college is accessible to any of the students who want to come to City College and uh, a place where if I don't know something, I know who to call and who will be able to support the student. I think part of it is really thinking about how we communicate with each other, how we listen to each other, um, how we create space for each other, and are very intentional about that work. No matter what race we are, no matter um, age, uh, you know, sexual orientation, whatever it may be, 
at the end of the day, we're all one human race. When we talk about it in landscape design, it's some kind of a thread that follows and pulls everything together. So the landscape, the design is cohesive and it looks like it's all tied together, like a tapestry or a weaving that you would do. And it could be something conceptual, thematic, like these are all California native plants that you used. Or it could be something broader than that, which encompasses color and people and cultures and everything else. So as a word, then the unity seems imperative in terms of when you're working in the garden, you have to realize that Mother Nature rules everything. But between you and nature and your work in the land, what ties it together that you're not separate, that there's a unity involved and that's what you try to achieve. That's what you're trying to be. Somewhere in the middle, just like any old worm or snake or caterpillar or anything like that, you're part of it, but you're working in conjunction with in this dynamic system. And that's the beauty, that's the fun of it, that you're not separate from the universe and the earth itself, that you're part of it. Here we are, absolute miracles uh, of existence in a universe where it seems like the laws of physics were fine-tuned to somehow make it possible for a natural and understandable sequence of events to lead to the development of brains so complex they can be self-aware enough to look around and ask, wow, how did all this get here? I feel that all of the uh, seven and a half billion people on the planet, I wish I could bring them to that same wonder with me because one of the biggest wonders of my existence is how it came to be. And astronomy really looks to explicitly answer those questions, at least from the universe as it started with the laws of physics that it has. Beyond that, it may be more philosophy, metaphysics, something else, but who knows where the next boundary is going to be for human understanding. And questions that seem unanswerable, um, often have been dismissed as unanswerable, turn out to be answerable after all. We are all one and we're all humans. We only have one planet. And without this planet, and without coming together, unified, we'll never be able to recreate another planet. Good morning, esteemed guests. I am Edward Simon Hansen, Professor of Biological Sciences and Academic Senate President. Today it is my pleasure to serve as Master of Ceremonies for this morning's virtual celebration. Today is the official start of City College of San Francisco's annual graduation and first ever virtual ceremony. Graduates, we hope that wherever you are viewing this from, you are wearing your cap and gown so that you may feel as much a part of this time-honored tradition as possible. Today we celebrate you and your incredible achievements. Family, friends, loved ones, faculty, staff, administrators, and students, you will have multiple opportunities to honor graduates today. Clapping, cheering, and other expressions of joy are not only encouraged, but strongly recommended. If you have joined us today from CCSF's YouTube channel, you can literally keep these positive messages going throughout the ceremony. Now let's all take a moment to congratulate City College of San Francisco's graduating class of 2020 and 2021. Let's welcome Edward Maya, one of our talented students who will sing the national anthem. Oh, say, can you see? 
by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. What a wonderful performance. Thank you, Eduardo. It is now my honor to introduce Chancellor Rajen Verdian. Thank you and welcome. Before I start, it is my pleasure to introduce the members of the Board of Trustees and the senior leadership of City College of San Francisco. Please join me in welcoming her Honorable President of the Board of Trustees, Ms. Chanel Williams. The Vice President of the Board, the Honorable Tom Temprano. Honorable Bridget Davila, Honorable Alan Wong, Honorable Alia Chisti, Honorable John Rizzo, Honorable Thea Selby, and the student trustee, Honorable Vic Van Chung. And now to the members of the senior leadership of City College of San Francisco. Ms. Dana Gonzalez, Deputy Chancellor. Mr. Tom Bogle, Vice Chancellor, Academic and Institutional Affairs. Dr. John Alamin, Vice Chancellor, Finance and Administration. Dr. Lisa Cooper Wilkins, Vice Chancellor, Student Affairs. Mr. Alberto Vasquez, Interim Associate Vice Chancellor, Facilities, Construction and Planning. Ms. Kristen Charles, Associate Vice Chancellor, Institutional Advancement and Effectiveness. Ms. Ellen Reyes, Associate Vice Chancellor, Information Technology Services. And Ms. Clara Starr, Associate Vice Chancellor, Human Resources. Graduates, parents, guests, members of the public, Welcome to the 2020 and 2021 graduates, families, community, faculty, staff, and administrators to the first CCSF virtual commencement. Even though we would have preferred this special event in person, one of the benefits of being virtual is that joining us are family and friends of our graduates, not only from the city of San Francisco, but from all over the United States and even from other parts of the world. So, bienvenidos, bienvenue, and Juanin Niemann. This past year will go down in history as a moment in time of many challenges unknowns, and that it was our communities of color and the working class who experienced the brunt of this pandemic. The pandemic also finally revealed our country's systemic inequities and racism. All across this country, community college students facing housing and food insecurities as well as caring for their children and sick relatives, made the tough choice to put their dreams and the futures on hold. 
as the college sits on occupied land of the Ohlone people, and in Native American tradition, we recognize and honor the dead first. Join me for a moment of silence for the 580,000 human beings in the United States, the majority Black and Latinx, who passed away this past year due to COVID-19. Graduates, despite a pandemic, learning entirely remotely, dealing with the choppy internet connections, and having to face your own personal challenges, each of you persevered and made it to the finish line. All of you are making history today. All of you will be remembered as the CCSF graduates of 2020 and 2021 who never gave up, who ventured into unknown waters, chartered new pathways, and saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Take a moment to take it all in, because you have accomplished what many were not able to or found unbearable to complete. You stand in a class all of your own. Many of you are the first in your family to graduate from college today, and that is not a small thing, but a major accomplishment for you and your families. By being the first to graduate, you have automatically become a leader, a role model for the rest of your family. By becoming the first to graduate, you have shined the light for others to follow. And you have proved, si se puede, yes, you can. This slogan coined in 1965 by Dolores Huerta during Cesar Chavez's 25-day fast to bring economic justice for Filipino and Mexican workers has become synonymous with accomplishing your goals. And there will be many more goals for each of you to accomplish. For many of you, this might be the first time you enter the workplace as an expert in your field. Or for some of you, this degree was a way to upskill into a new position that would increase your earning potential, or you are transferring to a university. Whatever your circumstances are, remember that your CCSF degree carries with it a lot of weight and power. Remember that you have equipped with knowledge and training to be respected experts in your field. Stand tall and feel proud to share you are a CCSF graduate. You are a fierce ram and will continue to accomplish great things. To the graduating ladies, I want to say that you must always advocate for yourself and not settle for less. Your worth is equal to a man's, and the skills, perspective, and brilliance you bring to the workplace is the other 50% society needs to see and experience at a larger scale. The time has come not to be a silent power behind the seats. You must own your ideas and speak about your contributions. The days of women being silenced or mansplained are over. In the words of the American writer, civil rights activist, feminist, and librarian Audre Lorde, I am a black, a lesbian, mother, warrior, and poet. When I dare to be powerful, to use my strength in the service of my vision, then it becomes less and less important whether I am afraid. In the words of our own Madam Vice President Kamala Harris, excuse me, Senator, I am speaking. Yes, the time for being silent is over. 
each of you graduates now bear the responsibility not only to advocate for yourself, but for others. Our society needs you to innovate in collaboration with others, whether you are going into healthcare, the trades, or education. Every moment is an opportunity to stop hate and racism. Every moment, each interaction is an opportunity not to be silent, to tell the truth based on facts and bring harmony to tense situations. If you are not Asian, you must bravely state, stop Asian hate. If you are not black, you must declare that black lives matter. If you are not Latin X, you must set the record straight that Latinos are not aliens, but human beings, and remind people California used to be Mexico. The most powerful thing you can do is to create space for others when they are not there. If you are a male in a male-dominated field, it must be you who must state, we need more women in our industry. If you are a white ally, it must be you who must state, we need to hire black talents. And it is up to all of you to state that talent is talent and transgender and immigrant employees make innovation better. Economic justice does not happen in a vacuum. It happens in the commitment to engage every single day in a collective consciousness to bring forth equity. In the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., we may have all come in different ships, but we are all on the same boat. When you wake up tomorrow morning, you will be all the more powerful in the knowledge that you have graduated and that is, this is only the beginning for you. There is a world that awaits you to make your unique mark. Your voice is needed. Like so many who have come before you, the truth shall make you free. Step into it, feel it, own it, Congratulations, class of 2020 and class of 2021. Thank you. And now I am pleased to introduce Ms. Chanel Williams, President of the Board of Trustees of City College of San Francisco. Congratulations, City College graduates. The Board of Trustees could not be any more proud of everything you've persevered through this year. Please keep us informed of all the amazing things you accomplish in your journey. We'll be here supporting you along the way. As a fellow City College alumnus, it is my honor to introduce this year's Board of Trustees Alumni of the Year Award winner, Mr. Tim Brown, Class of 2003. This award was created to recognize a former graduate who has demonstrated exceptional talent and accomplishment in their field. While a student at City College, Tim elevated the Rams football program to a national championship level before receiving a full ride scholarship to Temple University. There he received his Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology and Sports Science. After a successful football career in the Canadian Football League, during which he helped to win three championships and was the runner up for the 2012 John Agro Special Teams Award, Tim has leveraged his education and experience to start his own athletic training facility, the Factory Institute of Training, FIT. Simply called the Factory. What is exceptionally notable is that he was inspired by and achieved this during COVID-19 pandemic, no less as a means of offering young athletes and their families a safe outlet and training option. Please join me in congratulating Tim. Hi, it's Tim Brown. Thank you for this award. I'm truly honored to receive it. It is an even greater honor to be placed in such distinguished ranks as those of past honorees, all of whom have made important contributions to life and society. As I accept this honor, I'd like to give a thanks 
to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave me strength to make it through and embrace the opportunity that was before me at CCSF. I'd also like to thank those who had the generosity to nominate me. I didn't deserve it. <laughs> to City College uh, for allowing me to excel on and off the field and in the classroom while furthering my education. And last but not least, to the coaching staff, to all the players from 2002 to 2003, man, I, I truly appreciate and love you guys. To the extent that I'm being honored, I'm overwhelmed and full of gratitude. I would like to leave you all with three important things. In order to get where you need to go and answer the calling that God has on your life, one, you need to buy in. Second, you need to sacrifice. And third, you need to be patient. Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you, Tim Brown, not only for your public service, but also for returning today to motivate our graduates as they set forth on their future paths, as you did not so long ago. And now it is my pleasure to introduce someone who is no stranger to CCSF, the Honorable Julie Tang, retired Superior Court Judge of San Francisco County and former member of our CCSF Board of Trustees. She served as a Superior Court Judge from 1997 to 2014. However, prior to obtaining her Juris Doctorate degree from the University of California's Hastings School of Law, how many of you knew that her honor has a Master's in Counselor Education and was counselor for both San Francisco Unified School District as well as two California community colleges, including CCSF. Before leaving the bench, she presided over criminal, civil, and family courts, among others, and has the distinction of creating the first domestic violence court. Without further ado, let's all welcome the Honorable Julie Tang. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, on your graduation from City College. I am very honored to be your commencement speaker. You have worked harder than anyone else to earn this degree under the pandemic. You have studied and passed your courses in spite of the harsh requirements of isolation and social distancing. To those of you who have lost loved ones, I offer you my condolences, but let me assure you the hardships that you faced in the last two years will provide you with the strength, courage, and resilience to prepare for a life of unexpected changes, and you are stronger and better for it. For me, I learned early on when I first emigrated to this country in my late teens that the United States has serious racial issues. It is especially hard for women and racial minorities to, who must fight for the equalities in this country. I have two options. One was to be the forever foreigner, keep my head down, never ask any questions, and abide by the rules defined by white America. The other choice was for me to become a participant in deciding how this country should be run. I chose the latter. That's how I decided to run for public office, to be part of the governing structure of this country. In the last 40 years, I've partaken in various public offices. I served on the San Francisco Democratic County Central Committee briefly. I was elected to the San Francisco Community College Board and presided as the president of the board three times from 1981 to 1990. I started my legal career as an assistant district attorney. I was elected judge in 1991 and served in the San Francisco courts for 24 years. Upon retirement, I co-founded two peace organizations, the Comfort Women Justice Coalition in 2015 and Pivot to Peace in 2020. At Comfort Women Justice Coalition, I helped build the San Francisco Comfort Women Memorial at the St. Mary's Square. At Pivot to Peace, I worked with a diverse group of peace activists 
to advocate for a peaceful solution in the current Cold War between the United States and China. And I'm working with young people to battle anti-Asian hate. The US Cold War with China has a devastating effect on world peace. And in my estimate, it has not brought anything positive to or enhanced the lives of the average American citizen. And the one clear negative effect that comes closest to home is the huge surge of hate crimes and incidents against Asian Americans. The latest Pew study shows nine out of 10 Americans look at China negatively. U.S. Congressman Andy Kim spoke about anti-Asian hate crimes on NPR on April 10, 2021. He said, and I quote, the hard truth is that whenever tensions escalate between the U.S. and Asian nations, Asian Americans spare the brunt of that anger at home, unquote. When one part of the American community is being adversely affected, the entire American communities are affected. And when world peace is at stake, every person's safety is at stake. That's why I am working to promote peace and not war and help end anti-Asian racism. I'm also very concerned about what is happening to City College. We are in crisis. This community college is a revolutionary and humane plan to provide comprehensive programs in public higher education to all who needed it. But that mission is being eroded. City College needs you now more than ever. Support your college. Last but not the least, may I give you a few words of personal advice? In this post-pandemic era, phenomenal changes are happening. As City College graduates, you are in the best position to take in all the information around you and make the best decision for your educational career and personal changes. Keep your eyes and ears to the ground on the social, professional, and marketing changes that are taking place in our society and in the world. These knowledge will guide you to the best decision for your educational career and personal goals. My strong advice for you is to complete the highest education possible and always set your goals higher than what you think you can achieve. No matter what you do, pursue social justice and unite and work with each other to fight for world peace. The future of our country and the world is in your hands. We are in this together and we will, never, and we will always prevail because we must. Thank you for this opportunity to address you. We appreciate you returning to City College today, Your Honor, and thank you for continuing to inspire us all. Now, Please join me in welcoming CCSF's Classified Senate President, Maria Salazar Colon, to acknowledge and honor students and introduce our student speaker. Good morning, graduates. I'm Maria Salazar Colon. I'm the Classified Senate President. As I offer my congratulations to the class of 20 and the class of 21, I would like to call everyone's attention to our digital program booklet which can be located on our CCSF commencement website. There you will notice a special recognition of our honor students. First, you will note that there are a group of students who have participated in the college's honors program. Second, you will see that we have many students who are members of the Alpha Gamma Sigma Honor Society. And finally, we are extremely proud of those students based on their most recently calculated GPAs who have earned the distinction of honors, our highest honors. Let's take a moment to congratulate all of those students. Yay! Now it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Alexa Bautista. Alexa is from the Bay Area and started her education journey at City College of San Francisco in the fall of 2018. Since then, she has been actively engaged in the college community through her work at the bookstore as a math tutor, as well as being a writer, the culture and features editor, and the co-editor in chief for a student newspaper, The Guardsman. Impressively, while Alexa managed schoolwork and extracurriculars, she also was a caregiver for her grandmother. It should be noted that Alexa is graduating from City College of San Francisco with honors and with four degrees, which include an associate 
in Arts for Transfer Degree in Communication Studies, an Associate in Arts for Transfer Degree in Journalism, an Associate in Arts Degree in Arts and Humanities, an Associate in Science Degree in Social and Behavior Sciences. She will be transferring to the University of California, Berkeley, majoring in Media Studies. Let's all give a warm welcome to Alexa. Hello, distinguished faculty, staff, friends, parents, City College of San Francisco community, and graduating classes of 2020 and 2021 from wherever you are tuning in to this broadcast. Thank you to the commencement committee for giving me this opportunity to speak on behalf of students. Graduating classes of 2020 and 2021. The past few semesters have been unprecedented, but we got here today and that is something to be truly proud of. From late night study sessions to those super early 8 a.m. classes, we did it and we deserve to be here. When I reflect on my time at CCSF, one question sticks with me from intermediate algebra when we learned about exponential growth. The professor asked, imagine a 64 squared chessboard with pennies stacked in each square. The first square has one penny. The second square doubles that, two pennies. And the third square doubles that, four pennies, which continues for the entire board so would you rather have this chessboard full of pennies or $1 million in paper bills? If you chose the $1 million, you knew exactly what you're getting. However, if you chose the pennies, it's either you're quick at mental math or you understand the power of exponential growth and decided to take a chance. And that risk would have paid off. The last square alone totaled $184 quadrillion. Now this speech isn't about math or money. It's about how small actions, like choosing a pile of pennies, could turn out to be something exponentially bigger than they appear. Something that you could have never imagined. I was completely lost after graduating high school in 2018 rejected from every four-year university I applied to, and graduated with barely a 3.0 GPA. No one I was close to attended CCSF, and I wasn't in a good headspace. During my first semester, I gained weight from comfort eating, wasn't fully present in the classroom, and felt alone. My GPA during that time was a 2.94, with a UC GPA of a 2.54. Something snapped. I realized I wasn't going anywhere and I needed to change. I came out of my shell and started asking professors for help. I spoke with university representatives to learn about their programs and with counselors to acclimate myself with the college. This changed my perception of how or even where I might transfer. Those little changes similar to the pennies, helped me because by fall 2019, I got all A's for the first time in my academic career. That mental shift helped me meet some of you in classes, clubs, or even organizations. I was inspired to keep going, especially hearing your stories about coming back to school or recovering from addiction or illness and seeing you thrive. Our journeys to this moment were not easy. No one expected a pandemic. With online learning, we experienced burnout and fatigue. The simple act of turning on our devices and tuning into class while we were cooking for our families or dropping off our kids or even half awake in bed, we still decided to show up and learn. We spoke up about what we believed in, fought tirelessly to get an A in our hardest class, and gave stellar pre presentations to educate the community. And that was all us. There were many times things didn't go our way and we made sacrifices. It felt like our plans came to a halt and all the doors closed. We experienced loss and hardship 
and my heart goes out to each and every one of you. While juggling my role as a student, I was also a caregiver for my grandmother. 11 days before my birthday last July, she passed away and it was difficult. There were nights I would go to my grandmother's bedroom next door to my own and, and cry as if she was still there and talk to her. Healing isn't a linear process. I admire you for taking the steps to, to repair our collective and individual losses. You took small acts to help yourselves, whether it was to go outside, go to therapy, or spend more time with your family while pursuing your education. You didn't ask yourself, what do I have to do now? But rather, who should I be to help myself and the people around me? And you never gave up. That was all us. This graduation ceremony has been waiting for us this whole time. Your perception of education didn't get you to a million like you thought it would. It got you to quadrillions. Today, I am graduating with honors, earning four degrees, and was accepted to every university I applied to, and will be attending UC Berkeley next fall. None of the CCSF faculty and staff trained for this crisis, but they still helped us achieve our academic, professional, and personal goals. I encourage all of you to thank them, because in their eyes, when students win, we all win. We deserve this degree because of the strength we possess. The world is in dire need of people like us in business, healthcare, or politics to improve our communities, especially during an economic crisis, racial and gender inequality, and a global pandemic. Your next successful journey, whether you're transferring, getting that new job, or going to a professional institution, is waiting there for you with open arms because you persisted. Keep pushing those perceptions and boundaries for yourselves and for others. Congratulations, class of 2020 and 2021. Don't be afraid to tell someone, I told you so. If they thought you were just gonna be happy with only $1 million, because you know yourself that you are worth more. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alexa, for those inspiring words. Are you ready, everyone? At this time, graduates of the class of 2020 and those of the class of 2021 are about to be introduced. Vice Chancellor Vogel, on behalf of the faculty of the Academic Senate of City College of San Francisco, I am pleased to recommend to you these candidates for the degrees of Associate of Arts and Associate of Sciences. Thank you, Dr. Hansen. Chancellor Verdian, on behalf of the administration of City College of San Francisco, we are pleased to present the candidates for the degrees of Associate in Science and Associate in Arts. Subject to the completion of all requirements as prescribed by the Board of Trustees, it gives me great pleasure to present these candidates for the conferring of their degrees. Ria Abarke, AA in Arts and Humanities, AA in Critical Pacific Islands and Oceania Studies. Judy Abul, AS in Science and Math, Prakash Acharya, AS in Computer Science. Sushila Acharya, AS in Registered Nursing. Kylie Adams, AST in Business Administration. Rushmi Adhikari, AS in Biological Sciences Emphasis Health Science. AS in Science and Math. Imani Aguiar Garcia. AAT in Psychology. Luis Aguilar. 
AS and CNIT, Network Security. Diana Aljamal, AS in Science and Math. Taylor Allen, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nasser Almang, AS in Marketing. Caroline Almeida, AT in Psychology. Marone Andabran, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Talia Andrade, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Victoria Lapuz Andriata, AS in Administrative Support. Alexandra Arada, AS in Engineering. Erica Arcega, AS in Child Development. Siham Arga, AAST in Mathematics Option 2. AS in Computer Science. Emily Argueta, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Emma Ayala, AS in Science and Math. Guillermo Ayala, AS in CNIT, Computer Tech Support. Patricia Ayala, AS in Construction Management. Diane Iardi, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Library Information Technology. Hello, I would like to thank my mom and my sister for all of their love, encouragement, and support throughout all the time that I completed my two degrees at City College of San Francisco. Mariah Badilla, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Dakarai Bailey, AS in Fire Science Technology. Megan Ballard, AS in General Business, Supervision and Management Program. Danielle Barsena, AS in Cinema Production. Emmanuel Barreto, AS in Marketing. Madison Bar Sulia, AS in Registered Nursing. Alexa Bautista, AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Communication Studies, AAT in Journalism. Renee Becker, AA in Film Studies, Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. AAT in English, Highest Honors. Corey Benali, AS in Science and Math, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Edwin Benitez, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jonathan Black, AAT in Political Science. Destin Bokog, AST in Administration of Justice. Samadhi Bunchitsitsak, AS in Computer Science, AS in Travel and Tourism. Honors. Vila Bowman, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sierra Nicole Bravo, AT in Psychology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Omar Breedlove. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Megan Britton. AS in Science and Math. Lily Bruett. 
AS in Health Information Technology. Lily Dharma Dibruet with two majors in Health Information Technology and Business Administration with concentration in Financial Analysis. Alison Bufano, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Alma Giselle Bush, AAT in Psychology. Claire Bai, AS in Science and Math. Eliana Catalina, AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Studio Arts. Henry Kai, AS in Computer Science, Science and Math. Fantastic. Kazel Marie Callalo, AS in Science and Math, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jose Calderon, AS in Engineering, AS in Science and Math. Honors. Kate Chow. AST in Business Administration, AS in General Business. Victoria Carter, AS in Registered Nursing. Benjamin Carvajal, AT in Sociology. Nancy Castillo, AS in Science and Math, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Angel Seha, AST in Administration of Justice. I just wanted to say thank you for everybody that supported me throughout this journey. This is definitely a dream come true. Class of 2021, I got it. Mark Serverich, AS in Science and Math. Elijah Chong, AS in Diagnostic Medical Imaging. Julie Chonmok, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Registered Nursing, AS in Science and Math. Tuoi Chatnuff, AS in Diagnostic Medical Imaging. Mai Chow, AA in Arts and Humanities. Jeffrey Chi, AS in Diagnostic Medical Imaging. Li Mei Chen, AA in Arts and Humanities. Yifei Chen, AST in Mathematics. AT in Psychology. Ursula Choice, AA in Arts and Humanities. AAT in Social Justice. Ethnic Studies. Megan Chow. AAT in Studio Arts, AAST in Business Administration. Shelly Chow. AAST in Business Administration. Andrew Christofferson. AS in Paramedic. Matt Chuen. AS in Registered Nursing. We're graduating, guys. <laughs> Rachel Church. AST in Film, TV, and Electronic Media. Kevin Saika. AST in Film, TV, and Electronic Media. Kristen Clementi, AAT in Sociology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Mary Coffey, AA in Arts and Humanities, AA in LGBT Studies, AS in Administration of Justice, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Thank you, President Chanel Williams, Ardell Thomas, Brianna Hansen, Molly Martin, Lauren Bell. 
Barbara Johnson. Thank you. Martel Coleman. AS in Science and Math. Yadira, Colorado. AT in Child Adult Development, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sylvia Konas Ordonez. AS in General Business. Jennifer Contreras. AS in Registered Nursing. Michaela Contreras. AAT in Child Adult Development. Jill Corbett. AS in Registered Nursing. Christopher Cornelius. AS in Science and Math, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Maria Cruz Conte. AAST in Administration of Justice, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Brandon Cruz Yule. AS in Computer Science, Science and Math. Yancey Cummings. AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Neil Patrick Costado. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Krista Daly. AS in Mechanical Engineering Tech. Mike Davis. AT in Sociology. Thank you for the support and for the amazing resources and experience, and thank you all. Catherine De Leon, AT in Psychology. Leroy De Leon, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Angelo De Luz, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Happy graduation! Zhuoying Deng. AS in Registered Nursing. Crystal Lovandria Denson Jarvis. AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. My Dan Doe, AS in Registered Nursing. Rita Dos Santos Cruz, AS in Health Education. Marie Geraldine Dungo. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sierra Dunn. AT in Psychology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sienna Dunn. AA in Arts and Humanities. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Beatrice Lema Durant. AT in Psychology. Alexandra Echeverria, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Letitia Irving, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Natalia Escobar, AS in Interior Design. Alexandra Evans McNeil. AT in SJS, FEM, Queer, Trans Studies. Congrats to all the other grads. I want to say thank you to my partner, 
my parents, my step-parents, and my best friend, Selena. Have a great summer, everybody. Sarah Evans, AT in Psychology. Toef Wiono Fahale Ava Sanchez, AT in Psychology. Thank you to my family and friends. Love you guys. Diana May Faustino, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Health Education, AS in Science and Math. Elizabeth Fay, Associate of Science in Accounting. Mariana Fernandez Alarcón, AAT in Communication Studies. Star Feta Moreno, AS in Science and Math. Zilma Finney, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Thanks everyone for supporting my educational journey. It's been a long road, but it's only the beginning. Thanks. Emily Maria Flores Aborto, AS in Health Education. Eva Flores Hernandez, AT in Sociology. Kaylina Fong, AS in Photography. Jacintha Fregata, AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Psychology. I would like to thank my parents for supporting me, as well as the kind professors that I've met. I was able to achieve my goals through determination and being goal-oriented. Ryan Luis Fuller, AST in Film, TV and Electronic Media. Sophia Fulton. AT in Psychology. Martina Furlan. AS in Marketing. Michaeline Gabriel. AA in Arts and Humanities, AT in English. Norma Marcela Gallegos, Associate of Science in Automotive Technician, Social and Behavioral Sciences. I am Norma Gallegos, and I am City College of San Francisco. Aileen Gallo Estrada, AST in Early Childhood Education, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Meryl Jean Gambader, AS in Science and Math, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Christina Garcia. AAT in Spanish for Transfer Option 2. Kashina Garner. AS in Biological Sci Emphasis Health, Science and Math, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Thank all my family and friends. Um, the EOPS program, Scott, you're amazing. Thank you um, to everybody. I did it! David Gatdula, AS in Fashion Merchandising. Zaid Jebramariam, AS in Travel and Tourism. Ngar Singh G, AA in Arts and Humanities. Thank you to my family and my friend for their encouragement and support, especially my daughter who has helped me a lot with my studies. Rihanna Jella, AS in Registered Nursing. Ronnie Goes, AAT in Economics, Political Science, Psychology, Sociology. Jebriel Gidi, AS in Computer Science, Science and Math. Joshua Jin, AT in Psychology, Sociology. Bernisha Givens, AA in Arts and Humanities.
AS in Social and Behavioral Science. Crystal Givens, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Andrea Goldberg, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Delina Gonzalez, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Damaris Gonzalez Olmos, AS in Travel and Tourism. Hola, I want to say thank you to God, thank you to my parents, thank you to my host family, thank you to my amazing friends for all the support. Emily Olivia Gonzalez, AS in Science and Math, AA in Arts and Humanities, Latin American Latinoa Studies. I'm a student with learning disability who started from the bottom and worked my way up. Now I'm graduating, transferring to state, and have three degrees. Itzel Gonzalez, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Laura Gonzalez, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Skylar Gray, AT in English. Justin Griffin, AS in Culinary Arts. John Guardado, AS in Computer Science. Kimberly Guevara, AT in History. Ritu Gurum, AS in Science and Math. Rocio Guzman, AS in Registered Nursing. Layla Hall, AS in Child Development. Alicia Hansen Lee, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. AS in Child Development, Honors. Leonor Hernandez, AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Social Justice, Ethnic Studies. Jessica Vanessa Hernandez Quintanilla, AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Sociology, AAST in Administration of Justice. I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported me throughout this journey and thank you God for never leaving my side. This is truly a blessing and I'm forever grateful. Thank you. Elizabeth Hewlett, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Cinema Production. A very special thank you to the Cinema Department, the Women's and Gender Studies Department for granting me the tools and wisdom to amplify the voices in my community. Harlan Hickey, AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Communication Studies. Alexandra Holub Filistovich. AA in Dance Performance Art. Larry Hope. AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Psychology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Dong Li Huang. AS in Child Development. Judy Waite. AS in Science and Math. Jolene Huey, AA in Film Studies. Orla Hunt, AS in Science and Math. Jamarion Hudson, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Ios Yulio, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Emily Jalla, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Kelvin Jardaliza, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. 
Marissa Jeffries. AAT in SJS, Latin Amer Latinoa Studies. Janiquia Jefferson. AS in Science and Math. Yuni Jong. AS in Child Development. Jijun Jiang. AS in Child Development. Pong Satorn Jirakitana. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Hello, folks. Thank you for being here today. Even the pandemic cannot stop us from being successful. Big congratulations to all of you. Jania Johnson. AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Finance, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. AA in Latin American Latinoa Studies. Stevisha Johnson. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Mason Juanillo. AS in Social and Behavioral Science. Anna Lupe Kailahi. AA in Critical Pacific Islands and Oceania Studies. AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Communication Studies. Lucas Cam. AS in Aircraft Power Plant Maintenance. Doris Kang. AST in Business Administration. Um, it's been a long journey, but with the support of my family, I was able to finish. Yeah, through prayers, surgery, sweat, crying, I did it all. Evelina Carlson. AAT in SJS, Fem, Queer, Trans Studies, AAT in Social Justice, Gender Studies. Damaris Cowell, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sylvia Kelly, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Mavin Canyon, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Gudakir, AAT in Economics, AST in Business Administration, AS in General Business. Kababulo Kujamberdi, AS in Computer Science, Science and Math. Jun Kim, AS in General Business. Nutchinart Kitawarawat, AS in Computer Science. Yali Kuang, AS in Child Development. Nupi Kuang, AS in Science and Math. Tan Shot, AS in Health Information Technology. Brenton Lai, AT in Economics. Hien Ni Langton. AAST in Early Childhood Education. Alexandra Lapid. AS in CNIT, Computer Tech Support. Hello everyone, Sandra in here, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who have supported me to get this achievement in my life. Happy Good Vision Day, everyone. Sum Lao. AS in Registered Nursing. 
Sean Lavelle. AS in Registered Nursing. Guy Lawley. AS in Administration of Justice. I did it. I got it. And I made it. Alexis Lawson. AT in psychology. Proud to say that I'm a CCSF 2020 graduate with an AA in psychology. I am unapologetically black and educated. Thole. AS in registered nursing. CCSF Nursing Department for providing me a wonderful education. Thanks so much to my family for supporting me through the process. Tholay. As in medical assisting, registered nursing. Jacqueline Lee. AT in psychology. Gabriella Lefrancois. AS in child development. Angelica Leon, AT in Sociology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Carrie Lee, AS in Computer Science. Jiafong Lee, AS in Dental Assisting. Allison Lim, AS in Diagnostic Medical Imaging. Samantha Lin, AT in Anthropology, Psychology, Sociology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Mercedes Lincoln, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Con K. Law, AS in Dental Assisting. Sheraton Lockett, AA in Arts and Humanities. Jacqueline Lopez, AA Arts and Humanities, AAT in Child Adult Development. AS Science and Math, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Margarita Lopez, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Ana Lopez Anglada, AS in Hotel Management. Debbie Eunice Lozano Pena, AS in Supervision and Management Program. I want to say thank you, God, first. Uh, thank you, Mother Elizabeth. Muchas gracias a todos por el apoyo que me brindaron siempre. La Lai, AS in Child Development. Vin Lai, AST in Business Administration. Xiome Ma, AT in Child Adult Development. Angelito Macapan Pan, AS in General Business. Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations to us. We did it. Brittany Machado, AS in Diagnostic Medical Imaging. Zabina Maxak, AS in Science and Math. Shand Allen Madrigal, AS in Health Education. Emerald Mar, AA Arts and Humanities, AAT Studio Arts, AS Science and Math, AS Social and Behavioral Sciences. Shan Sarah Cranes Math, Associate of Science in Medical Assisting. Miko Mallory, AS in Biotechnology, AS in Science and Math. Yones Mana, 
AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Maria Manuel, AS in Health Education. Rhiannon Maple, AS in Library Information Technology. Deborah Markle, AS in Science and Math. Marks Joanne Mariano, AAT in Political Science. Juliana Marquez, AS in Science and Math. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Veronica Marrero. AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Christina Maroquin. AA in Film Studies. Celia Martinez. AA in Arts and Humanities. Rosmi Martinez, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sammy Martinez, AA in LGBT Studies. Frank Martinez III, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Yeni Martinez Solis, AA in Arts and Humanities. Angelica Martinez Fernandez, AS in Science and Math. Linda Masoli, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Maria Cristina Matua, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences, AA in Arts and Humanities. Ariana Maxwell, AS in Social and Behavioral Science. AA in Arts and Humanities. Diana Mayorga. AAT in Political Science, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. I would like to thank God first and foremost for making this possible for my three kids who are my everyday motivation. I love you guys so much. Donald McFarland. AA in Arts and Humanities. Santeria McGilbra, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. I'd like to thank my friends and family for all their support. I'd also like to thank Robin and Felita Clark. I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you so much. Colina Kai McGuire, AS in Registered Nursing. Jasmine McMillian Hill. AA in Arts and Humanities. AS in Social and Behavioral Science. Rebecca Medrano. AS in Computer Science. Hernandez Mejia. AS in Child Development. Irene Mejia. AT in Sociology. Irony Mellon Gomper, AS in Science and Math. Jennifer Mendoza, AA in Latin American Latinilla Studies. Monique Menezes Farinato, AA in Graphic Design. I just want to say thank you to everyone who worked with me through my journey at City College, I'm very happy and ready to the next step. Thank you very much. Elena Metlinski, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Vicente Mayam, AS in Culinary Arts. Hi, my name is Vicente, and I'm class of 2021. Maria Mikhail, AS in Registered Nursing. Jennifer Modesto, AT in Psychology. 
Ferdinand Mojica. A.S. in Administration of Justice, Automotive Mechanics, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nettie Moore. A.S.T. in Administration of Justice, A.S. in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Diana Morales. A.S. in Diagnostic Medical Imaging. George Morris IV. AST in Business Administration. Sarah Beth Mullaney. AT Communication Studies, AS Social and Behavioral Sciences. Bethany Myers. AS in California Real Estate. I wanted to say thank you to all my friends and family who have helped me along the way. Monica Nanez. AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Isabella Irene Nanka, AS in Science and Math. Michael Ferriel Nanka, AS in General Business. Amanda Nelson, AS in Photography. Christy Ng, AS in General Business. Oh, Chow Nguyen, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Chow Nguyen, AS in Culinary Arts. Sun Gwyn, AS in Finance. Peter Nickel, AA in Arts and Humanities. Guada Zenya Nobella. AA in Arts and Humanities. AAT Child Adult Development, AS Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nyasha Nyamadzawo, AS in Registered Nursing. Jules Justin Ocampo, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Ricardo Ochoa Sanchez, AS in Child Development. Hi, I'm Ricardo Ochoa, originally from Guatemala. I'm the first member of my family to graduate from college. Congratulations, everyone, class of 2020 2021. Genevieve Ohanurum, AS in Biological Sci Emphasis Health, AS in Science and Math. Larissa Oliveira Buzelin. AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Naima Omar, AS in Biological Sci Emphasis Health, AS in Science and Math. Moonong, AS in California Real Estate. Yes, we'll be Yeah! Stephanie Ong. AS in Supervision and Management Program. Karen Orellana. AAST in Early Childhood Education. Mary Re Orellana. AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Karina Orozco, AT in Psychology. Stephen Orquiza, Associate of Science in Automotive Technician. Associate of Science in Social and Behavioral Science. Yadira Ortega, AS in Child Development. Melissa Ortiz. AA in Arts and Humanities, 
AAT in Sociology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Kevin O'Shea, AAT in Communication Studies. Adrian Otis, AA in Communication. Grace Padgerin, AS in Science and Math. Jennifer Pock Cogley, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Congratulations, Class of 2020 and 21. We did it. Jacqueline Palma, AS in CNIT, Network Security. Eden Palmer, AS in Registered Nursing. G Park, AS in Child Development. Michaela Paz, AAT in Sociology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Randy Paz, AS in Health Education. Kathy Perdue, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Thank you to my family for all the support and helping me to achieve an AS degree in liberal arts and sciences with an emphasis in social and behavioral science. Adina Purnell, AAT in Journalism. graduating class of 2020. Congratulations. Naomi Lashon Petway, AS in CNIT, Network Security. Katrina Pico Villaluna, AT in Psychology. Supanit Pincharone, AS in Interior Design. Marie Poelinger, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Science and Math. Alkisha Porter, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Now this phone is not expensive. No, I thought it did because, you know, most people with regular expensive. phones don't get them little pop things on the back. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> Tiret Prankbrasart, AS in General Business. Angela Price, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Leslie Ponzalin, AS in Registered Nursing. Gabriella Quach, AS in Science and Math. Ricky Ruffini, AA in LGBT Studies. Fernanda Ramirez, AAST in Administration of Justice, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences, Ana Ramos, AAT in Psychology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences, Olivia Ramos, AS in Social and Behavioral Science, Ryan Rosalong, AS in CNIT, Computer Tech Support. Monica Rauda Flores, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Ingrid Gabriela Reyes, AT in Psychology, AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Paolo Reyes, AS in Science and Math. Diana Rico Gonzalez, AT in Psychology, AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Raushana Riles, AA in Arts and Humanities.
A.S. in Social and Behavioral Science. Stephanie Rivera. A.A.T. in Child Adult Development. A.S. in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nelson Antonio Rivera Munoz. A.A. in Arts and Humanities. A.S. in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Hazana Robinson. A.A.T. in Political Science. Pamela Robinson. A.S. in Child Development, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Brandon Romarada Jr. A.A. in Arts and Humanities. Yvonne Romero. A.S. in Social and Behavioral Sciences, A.A.T. in Child Adult Development. A.S.T. in Early Childhood Education. Nohimi Romero Mercado. AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Psychology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Julia Rose. AA in Dance Performance Art. Graciela Rosillo. AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Sociology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Marcus Ruffner, AS in Science and Math. Kiko Ruiz Reyes, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Christian Ruiz Valenzuela, AA in Arts and Humanities, AA in English, AAT in English. Maria Salcedo. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Sophia Salinas. AST in Early Childhood Education. Daria Samanta. AS in Administrative Support. I want to say thank you to myself to my family members and to the all CCSF staff who helped me to graduate. Sheridan Sampaniero. AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Menfil Sanchez. AT in English. Winker J. Sanchez. AAST in Business Administration, AS in General Business, Culinary Arts, Hotel Management. High Honors. Myra Sandoval. AAT in Psychology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Michael Sankovich. AS in Science and Math. Yida Seen. A.S. in Science and Math. Hyan Sao. A.S. in Floristry. Nelly Servalin. A.S. in Landscape Gardening and Contracting. Zaina Sheikh. A.S.T. in Business Administration. Chuan Min, Sharon, Shang. AS in Diagnostic Medical Imaging. Shaw Shepherd. AT in Psychology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. And Huasher. AST in Biology, AS in Science and Math. Billy Shoemaker. AA in Arts and Humanities. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Well, Mom, thank you for all your love and support, just your endless encouragement. Yay! I did it! Sovindara Seeing. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Carla Siqueira Oliveira Marciano. AS in Supervision and Management Program.
Shelley Cisneros. AAT in Sociology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Giobao Situ. AA in Arts and Humanities, AAST in Biology, AS in Science and Math. Ruayu Situ. AS in Dental Assisting. Jessica Skiva, A.T. in Sociology. Counselors and teachers, as well as CCSF as a whole for getting me to this moment. You see Berkeley bound. Dominica Smith, A.S. in CVT Echocardiography. Jackie Smith, A.A. in LGBT Studies. Jesse Smith, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Joshaniqua Smith, AAT in Child Adult Development. Sarah Solorzano, AAT in Art History. Herman Spencer, AS in Social and Behavioral Science, AS in CA Real Estate, AS in Finance. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. We made it. We all made it through CCSL. Way to go. Christine Santa Anna, AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences, AS in Child Development. Jarrell Stewart, AA in Arts and Humanities, AAT in Sociology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences, AS in Photography. Hey class of 2021, I want to say congratulations to you all. Stay safe out there, stay motivated, and keep pushing, keep working. Christina Sunga, AS in Biological Sciences, AS in Science and Math. Priscilla Susterich, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Eric Tablonte, AS in Biotechnology, AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nancy Takeda, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Erica Tam. A.T. in Psychology. Kusum Tamam. A.S. in Diagnostic Medical Imaging. Kobe Tan. A.S. in Registered Nursing. Monica Tang. A.S. in Diagnostic Medical Imaging. Alessia Tavashi, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Alexandria Taylor, AA in Arts and Humanities. Hang Tai, AS in Child Development. Buddha Tapa, AST in Administration of Justice, EI Theory, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences, Ariana Thomas, AAT in Child Adult Development. This is Ariana Thomas, and congratulations to the class of 2021. Go Cougars, we did it. Tiana Thompson, A.T. in Psychology. I made it. 
thank you so much to my family for supporting me during my journey and the instructors that always believed in me and told me to never give up. I did it. Anna too. AAT in psychology, AAST in biology. Whitney Tonjalava. AAT in psychology, AS in social and behavioral sciences. We did it, congrats, class of 2021. We did it, y'all. Benjamin Topol. AS in registered nursing. Ina Toroshova. AS in interior design. Carlos Torrio Jr. AA in arts and humanities. Thank you, Susessa. Peace out. My Townsend. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Jennifer Tran. AT in Psychology, AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. And Truong. AS in Dental Assisting. Janet Sang. AA in Arts and Humanities. Bin Zhang, AAST in Business Administration. I need it. Lin Tu, AA in Arts and Humanities, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Wat Yi Tan, AA in Arts and Humanities. AS in Biological Sci Emphasis Health, AS in Health Education. Anudari Alzheimer, AST in Business Administration. Rungsuri Upperdit, AT in Anthropology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Corey Valenti, AST in Business Administration. Cynthia Vandeweert, AST in Business Administration, AS in General Business, AS in Marketing. Erica Varon Rodriguez, AS in Science and Math. Yuliha Vasquez, AT in Sociology. Maria Cosette Vavoda. AA in Arts and Humanities, AA in English, AAT in English. John Christopher Villanueva, AAT in Psychology, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Caio Viviani, AS in Culinary Arts. James Volker, AS in CNIT, Wireless Networks. Mingya Wang, AS in Registered Nursing, AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Trisha Welch, AT in History. Isaiah Wellstar, AS in Culinary Arts. Adrian White. AT in Psychology. Ajayla White. AS in Science and Math, Social and Behavioral Sciences. Claire Wyatter. AT in Theater Arts Option 1. Shirley Wong. AS in Science and Math. Everyone, I'm Shirley. I'm a liberal arts, sciences, and mathematics major. I plan to enter the workforce with the knowledge I gained at CCSF. Stephanie Woodford. 
AA in Arts and Humanities. Jelena Wright. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences, AAT in Sociology. Min Xian Wu. AA in Arts and Humanities. Vance Wu. AS in Registered Nursing. Mantong Su. AS in Registered Nursing. Tommy Su. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Victoria Yam. AS in Library Information Technology. Junping Yang. AS in Child Development. Yiding Yi. AAT in Child Adult Development. AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. I'm happy that I will graduate from the City College soon. It will be a big and meaningful day for me. Thank you for supporting me. Kennedy Yi. AS in Science and Math, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Shirley Yu. AS in Child Development. Wilson Yuen. AA in Film Studies. Sisinelli Zamora Calderon. AAST in Administration of Justice, AS in Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nong Shun Win. AS in Science and Math. Layla Zaydan. AAST in Biology. Sandy Zhao. AST in Early Childhood Education, AS in Child Development. Yen Hua Zheng. AAT in Child Adult Development, AAST in Early Childhood Education. Thank you, City College of San Francisco. Seeing Zhong. AA in Arts and Humanities. AST in Business Administration, AS in Science and Math. Ivan Z. Garwis. AS in Registered Nursing. Some of our students will be leaving us to serve in the military. Others have attained great jobs in the community. Still others are transferring to prestigious four-year institutions, both near and far. For those of you on social media, let us know if you are the first in your family to graduate from college, if you are a veteran, if you are a parent or have been working while attending college, if you speak more than one language fluently. We are proud of all of our graduates and the many walks of life they represent. Graduating class of 2020 and class of 2021, please get ready for the conferring of degrees. President Williams, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I present City College of San Francisco's graduating class of 2020 and class of 2021 candidates for the Associate in Arts and Associate in Science degrees. Thank you, Vice Chancellor Bogle. By the power vested in me by the State of California and the Board of Trustees of City College of San Francisco Community College District, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate associate's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Again, congratulations. Please rise wherever you may be. It is with great pride in your accomplishments that as is customary for those candidates receiving the associate's degree, 
I now invite you to move your tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left side, signifying that your graduation is official. Good luck to each and every one of you. May you feel the joy you feel now for the rest of your lives. As our ceremony comes to a close, I would be remiss for not thanking the many folks who came together to make today possible, particularly this year's commencement committee, comprised of several dedicated students, faculty, staff, and administrators. And a special thank you to the sign language translators who joined us today. Your service is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Graduates, students, colleagues, community members, this concludes our graduation ceremony. Once again, congratulations. Graduates, before you continue on the many additional celebrations you may have in store, Please take a moment to view this next video filled with congratulatory remarks from many of our CCSF community members who want to wish you well. From the Communication Studies Department to the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021, we'd just like to say congratulations. Everyone is on mute. <gasps> Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, everybody. What's up, class of 2021? Congratulations, you did it. We're all so proud of you here at the City College of San Francisco community, and we know you are going to continue to do great things. Congratulations. Hi, everyone. This is Emily Pong, Architecture Department Chair. I want to wish all the graduates, especially in from our programs, architecture, interior design, and construction management. You've all done a fantastic job um, this past year. I am so proud of you and wish you all all the happiness and success. Congratulations, class of 2020 and 2021. From uh, Student Affairs. Affairs. Hi, uh, this video is for Christina Sunga. You're an amazing woman, and I am very proud of you for your hard work, and uh, I love you so much. Congrats. This video, this video is for Christina Sunga. Congratulations, Mommy. We are very proud of you. We love you. Congrats that day, we love you. Hi, uh, this is for Christina Songa. Congratulations. Wish you all the best and good luck on your next journey. Thanks for making City College of San Francisco part of your academic journey. Work hard towards career success and know that we're always wishing you well from Student Services. On behalf of the Financial Aid Office, we would like to congratulate you, Class of 2020 and Class of 2021. I'm Dr. John Alamine, Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration. I wish congratulations to all of our graduates and wish you the very best in all of your career endeavors. You did it! Yay! Congratulations and best luck with the road ahead. We want to thank God for giving Larry the opportunity to go to college. And we want to thank all these people for praying for him all these years. And our community says, Congratulations, Larry! Good job, Larry. Hi, I'm Lisa Morton, financial aid specialist at City College. I want to send a congratulations to all our graduates. The sky is the limit for you. Happy graduation! Happy graduation! Congratulations to all CCSF graduates and to graduates in the Library Information Technology Department. You did it. 
to three. Congratulations. Congratulations, Miguel, on completing your two years at San Francisco City College. We're all very proud of you. Yes. Love you. We love you, Miguel, and miss you. Love we'll you. see you at the house very soon. Um, hi, my name is Aaliyah. I go by she, her, and they, and I work at the QRC. Hi, I'm Charlie. I use he, him pronouns, and I also work at the QRC. Hi, I'm Dylan. I use he, they pronouns, and I also work at the QRC. Hi, I'm Juan Fernandez. I use he, they pronouns, and I am the coordinator at the Queer Resource Center. We'd like to take a moment to congratulate the class of 2020-2021 in making it through this very difficult but rewarding year. Congratulations! Congratulations. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I like to. We like to take good. a moment. It really sets the mood. Like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. No. No. It's good. It's good. Sharktopus and Godzilla are here to say congratulations to the classes of 2020 and 2021. Woohoo! Congratulations, Dakari. I am so proud of you and excited on what's to come. Please keep it up. I love you. Congratulations, class of 20 and 21, from all of us at the Women's Resource Center.